So Lee, here's the rollers. Why don't you go ahead and hop up on this one? Can I drive? Not today, not today. We are going to talk about the different types of rollers that are used for asphalt compaction. I do want to learn, but I really want to drive. <laughs> So let's talk about the different types of rollers that can be used for asphalt pavement compaction. You are sitting on a vibratory steel drum roller right now. Okay. So this is the most common type of roller that we see on asphalt projects. It's most often used as the breakdown roller or the first roller after the paver itself. And it can be used in either static mode or vibrating mode. Okay, so it can run without vibrating? Yes, there's times we don't want the vibration. In fact, a lot of contractors have a static steel wheel roller that doesn't even have the vibrating option at all. And it's most commonly used as the finish roller or the last roller on the project and it takes out all the marks. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what about that one over there with all the wheels? Oh, that's a pneumatic tire roller. Let's go over there and look at it. Can I get in the driver's seat again? Nah, let's not get on this one. This is a pneumatic or rubber tire roller here. And we sometimes see it on asphalt paving projects, but sometimes we see contracts only use the steel wheel rollers. So this pneumatic or rubber tire roller provides a kneading action to achieve the compaction necessary on asphalt pavements. We typically see it used as an intermediate roller, so it would be between the breakdown roller and the finish roller. So between the vibratory and the static steel wheel rollers. Excellent, excellent. And I want to emphasize that most agencies don't require this, because they want to leave it up to the contractor to use the right type and size of rollers to achieve the compaction that's necessary. They want to give the contractor that flexibility. Okay, yeah, I, uh, I remember hearing you talk about that and, and using performance-based specifications and moving away from prescriptive or method-based specs. Yeah, I'm so glad you remembered that. And I heard that thunder. Maybe let's go over here and look at this other roller. Yeah, sounds good. So that's the oscillation roller. Okay. All right, you're back in the driver's seat. Yes, I am. All right, so you're sitting now on an oscillation roller, and it uses a massaging motion to compact the asphalt. I could use a massage. <laughs> Not that kind of massage. So a vibratory roller uses a vertical motion to compact the asphalt, where an oscillation roller uses a horizontal motion in the direction of travel of the roller to provide the compaction necessary. It's kind of a newer technology. Do they work? Oh, of course they work. But again, most agencies leave it up to the contractor to select the right type and size of roller to provide the compaction necessary. Okay. Well, I guess it looks like I know all about rollers. <laughs> no, no. There's so much more to know about roller speed, different patterns, pass counters, intelligent compaction, and so on. But let me quiz you about what we have talked about today. Let's see. What are the four types of rollers we've talked about? That's easy. Static steel wheel, mm -hmm. vibratory, mm -hmm. pneumatic tire, mm -hmm. and oscillation. Excellent. What about the three different uses for those rollers? First, there's the breakdown roller, mm -hmm. then the intermediate roller, mm -hmm. and lastly, there's the finish roller, which is what they use to take out all the marks and make sure there is a smooth, quiet ride for all the cars. I think you've got it. 